Hello and welcome back to 999. Yeah. So, uh, we reunited with the group, and now we're sort of in this weird ass hospital area with all these beds, and we don't know why this is here. We don't know what's going on. There are doors with numbers on them that uh, probably lead to rooms. Are they. One of the nine rooms? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out. A Santa, Clover, June, Seven, and Lotus. They had gathered in front of door number eight. Or perhaps to be accurate, they had gathered in front of the red next to door number eight. Oh, of course. 999 is nothing if not accurate. Had one of them found the missing piece? What happened, guys? I need to get the voices right. It's been a while since I recorded. Uh, it was June who answered him. Jumpy, look! She was pointing at the red. He pushed through the others until he stood in front of it. Vacant. Immediately, he knew what she had meant. The display on the front of the red read vacant. Junpei sighed. Aww. Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well, Junpei wondered why she was hesitating. The others looked as confused as June, but kept their mouths shut. What the hell? What's up with you guys? They all knew something he didn't, and Junpei wasn't about to leave things that way. Finally, Lotus frowned and spoke. Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. Junpei looked at the bottom of the red again just to make sure. Hmm... Hmm. Does this mean that somebody's lying and that somebody in the group uh, actually went back to the room and did that? So who was I with? Was I teamed up with anybody? I, I don't remember. But yeah, th that's a whole aspect of this game which I completely f just missed was the fact that one of these people who we're with is probably... Like, the killer, or, well, not really the killer. I guess technically the killer, because Bird's Nest died, so he is a killer. Or she is a killer. But that's probably one of the other people, so we should be sort of thinking like that. Thinking, okay, who's suspicious, who's not suspicious. I mean, if I had to make a list right now at the bottom, like, who do I trust the most? Uh... I could see June being the villain, just because of what a big twist that'd be. Uh, I could also see Lotus, simply because she's just so sketchy at this point, and her motives seem really sort of out there. We aren't 100% sure what her motives are, she seems to just be sort of lazy, but at the same time, there was all that business with the fridge and all of that nonsense. I couldn't see Santa being the killer. If it was Santa, I, I'd have to applaud uh, the culprit, because that... He did a really, really good job of getting into character. So I'd have to put Santa at the bottom of the list, if there was a list. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's uh, some real... What, what's a movie that has the detective being the killer? There's a lot of those. But... That could definitely be the scenario. I'm, I don't really trust Junpei's <laughs> fucking vague grasp on reality. Uh, there is a whole Clover and um, uh, Snake relationship. They're brother and sister, and Snake is apparently blind. 
But I don't know if, the, if either of those facts really counts them out. I could see a big reveal where it's like, oh, they're brother and sister and they've been putting on this game. It's running the family. And, you know, their great grandpappy was the one who bought the Titanic replica and started it up. And um, he wasn't blind. He was just really good at acting. Yeah, I feel like he's probably really blind. If he's acting, he, yeah, it seems impossible at this point for him to not like actually be blind or maybe i'm underestimating him who knows uh who else is there we got ace you know big gruff lion man uh who we don't know enough about everything about him everything about ace just screams cop to me like cop retired detective or army just some sort of uh something along those lines and I guess maybe I could see it as just a complete sort of divergence from what you think that he is. And Mountain is along the same lines. You know, Mountain so far has been portrayed to be sort of a... Sort of an oaf. Sort of a lunk. And if I was the killer, I'd want to be as unsuspicious as possible. So, you know, acting like a dum-dum would be a pretty good strategy. And also, if this whole thing is really, like, personalized, then the fact that I know June could mean something. Uh, hmm. Well, basically, I've just decided that pretty much everybody except Santa is suspicious. So, Santa is the one dude I trust in this entire fucking enterprise. The slot that had been open on the bottom was now covered in metal. Clearly, whatever had been missing had been returned. What about the other two? They're the same. Junpei quickly examined the other two boxes. Well, shit, this is a conundrum and a half. Satisfied that they were also repaired, but still very confused, he returned to the others. Is there any way... I think that sort of has to be one of us, because that's dramatic, isn't it? It's not, that's sort of, I guess, an anti-climax if it was just, I don't know, elves or some shit hiding in the walls and there were security cameras and then they just waited to see when we're gone and then just dived in and, like, replaced the things. I think it would be sort of a missed opportunity if that was the case, so I don't think that's what they're gonna go with. Uh, alright, I just wanna be sure here... Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Ace and June nodded silently. Seven raised his hands as if to say, Not me. And Santa just shrugged. Which one's Seven? I already forgot. Only Clover lowered her head and did nothing. Seven's Mountain. Seven's Oaf Man. Okay, yeah. Uh, huh? Wait a minute! That was when he noticed. Where's Snake? Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this fucking meme, aren't I? I mean, I could, theoretically, not make the easy joke here. But I don't know if I have, like, the personal constitution and strength not to make it. Ah, fuck it. Snake! Junpei swept his eyes around the room, or across the room, a second time, but Snake was nowhere to be seen. Does that mean he found them? I have no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. But whatever he did or didn't do is uh, pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. Clover raised her head. No, that's impossible! Suddenly she was shouting. Yeah, 
my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. What is he, a bat? Does he use echolocation? Oh boy. So, so, so he, he, he couldn't get lost. Th th that's impossible. Clover had started to shake, and the knuckles of her hands had gone white. She spun around, but before she did, Junpei noticed tears welling up in her eyes. I'm gonna go look for him! The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to run. Hey! Hold on, Clover, wait! Junpei cried out to her, but he was too slow. She kept going, and before anyone else could react, she was gone. Damn it! What do we do now? Well, the red is working now. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Oh man, this ain't good. Oh yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. That's kind of harsh. Then remain here if you feel you must. But there's no time. We've only five hours left. <clears throat> Junpei and the others nodded to one another and took off at a run. In front of the stairs that led to B deck, they, they decided to split up. They quickly assigned search areas and went their separate ways. Soon, only two of them were left. Those two were Junpei and Jun, who had been a few steps behind the others. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Okay, uh, hmm. The casino, the first class cabin, the hallway with all the rooms, and back to the large hospital room. Okay, that seems like a bad idea, C deck. The casino, well, that sounds like the most fun option. I don't actually think that's where they are. First class cabin, yeah, I mean, it seems like the hallway is probably where they are, right? That seems the closest, because we were all in that hallway, or were we all in different places? Oh, God. You know what, let's just do the hallway, because that has the most ground. That That's the largest area that they could be at. Um, and whereas the casino, we could probably investigate that fairly quickly, or at least relatively quickly, as long as there aren't any secret passageways, or the first class cabin, that'd be pretty easy. But the hallway, that... There are a lot of hiding places in there. If I wanted to hide, or if I was Clover, who was looking for Snake, th that's probably where I would go, so I'm gonna go see that. We should go check out that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's go, Jumpy. They turned and ran down the hallway to their left. Ahead of them, farther down the hallway, they spotted Ace. Hey! Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! Junpei paused. What did he want to do? You know what? Let's let Ace handle this. Eh. Why don't we just leave this area to Ace? We can go somewhere else. I mean, Ace is probably the most capable person here, so... yeah. But where? Well, let's see. Let's do the casino, since I feel like that's, once again, if we're going the largest areas, the most hiding places, that's next up from this hallway. So let's do a casino. Let's take a look around the casino. Okay, let's go. They turned and headed towards B deck. Before they knew what they were there, so was Lotus. Okay, Lotus is a person I don't have any faith in. Hey, what do you think you're doing? She glanced up at him, unimpressed. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. 
really. Maybe you need to look harder. Jun Junpei didn't think that was a problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? Yeah, sure. What? What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is 5, mine is 6, and yours is 8. Our digital root would be 1. Uh-oh. Yep. But there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are 3, 7, and 8. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What? Isn't that easy? Seven. She was right. They added seven. Five plus six plus eight plus seven equals twenty-six. Two plus six equals eight. Then the four of them could go through the number eight door, but... Whoa, hold on a second. What about the other four? Why don't you add them up? That was simple enough. Uh, yeah. The digital root for those four would be one. That's right. And you know, the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are you, are you, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of a woman do you think I am? Do you really want an answer to that? Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. Nah, you're not thinking this here uh, plan through. Even if we brought seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off of the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital route for us four will be eight. So we'd have to add ace to make nine. Right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Lotus scratched the back of her ear. Oh. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. She didn't sound particularly bothered by what Junpei said, nor did she seem particularly surprised. Well, let's uh, try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? You do know that only five people at most can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. I didn't think of that. Huh. Well then, hmm, that makes things a lot more interesting. So let me get this straight. Not only do we probably have a traitor in our midst, somebody who's probably the guy who's putting this whole thing on, but there's also the fact that we can't save everybody. Three people are going to die and we don't know who. Or at least three people. That's like the bare minimum. Well, when you're right, you're right. That is true. The moment he said it, Junpei felt a chill run down his spine. It was true. How Lotus could remain cavalier about so terrifying a prospect was beyond him. When they found the number nine, 
They would have to choose which three of them would die. Lotus's forehead furrowed. Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. Shit. 